Hello Capricorn, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be your monthly reading for February. Keep in mind timing and energy is still fluid. This could have already played out, is happening right now or is about to happen. So I ask that you only take with you what resonates, leave behind the rest. Keep in mind this is for any major Capricorn placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and North Node. And so if this message does not resonate, Check your other signs and placements and don't forget to cross watch. Capricorn, I feel all of these trials and tribulations in and around the Capricorn Collective. And I don't know if this is due to uh, Pluto in Capricorn, but I feel this is a big message for the Capricorn Collective because we're going to have Pluto going retrograde again back into Capricorn. And so it's time to forge a new path. That's what I that's what I was shown. It's like forging a new path, almost like bulldozing a new path in pursuit of happiness after a lot of trials and tribulations. And so we've been closing out a Pluto in Capricorn uh, cycle for the last 15 to 20 years, roughly. So uh, I feel some type of an initiation, a spiritual initiation, expiration date. I heard the word expiration date or the words expiration date. And so maybe it's time to restructure something. I feel like a restructuring of a foundation, a belief of some sort. And I just feel this major questioning. Like, are you questioning your future? I also feel a very dissatisfying emotional dynamic at play. And so maybe you're just dissatisfied with where you're at. And I felt a throat chakra activation and I kept hearing I say is it in sync or the backstreet boys uh, I kept hearing bye 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 <laughs> like that song baby bye 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 so there might be like an ending is kind of what I felt and I noticed as I sat down at the desk before I hit record my elbow hit the illumination card deck and this kind of fell out in reverse so I feel like a major like release of like the dark night of the soul and so a purging and so it's the energy of like uncaging all of the darkness out of the heart like a massive uh uncaging so i'm gonna leave that there okay before jumping in with the cards i would like to mention capricorn i'm offering another online tarot class that is beginning on march the 12th and it's going to run through april the 9th there's two options to take this online class with me if you'd like to learn the tarot with me there's a daytime option and an evening option there will be a video card above and a link below if you would like to register for the class i'd like to get you booked in for that also there is a new web page if you would like to book a reading with me feel free to check out the web page and it's a it's like a one-stop shop where you can book right there and it eliminates all of the middle uh, man stuff for me there is also an option to join the channel membership as well so feel free to check out the membership what we offer over on the membership side uh, where i go live every thursday at noon and there's all kinds of bonus content going to be over on the membership side okay let's keep going here capricorn let's see what else needs to come through for my capricorn collective all in the golden afternoon so that's all about inspiration uh ace of wands a new creative spark and so that kind of aligns with this initiative to maybe restructure in your life I just feel the conception of something new. So maybe you've tapped into some third eye energy and awakening within the third eye. And then we get the five. So magician energy, a one and a five. So I feel a new beginning when it comes to new beliefs. I think a fresh perspective. I think you're learning to become strong. You're learning to become braver. And you've grown a lot of resiliency uh, through maybe a very negative experience but i feel something's reached its expiration date something is coming to an end and i think you've grown strong enough to gain a fresh perspective about something here maybe about a commitment could be dealing with the taurus doesn't have to be but let's see what else needs to come through for you capricorn sun moon rising venus jupiter and north node messages for my capricorn collective oh my gosh okay it's always tea time it's a 26 card and so it breaks down to an eight so there's a karmic loop here that you're being asked to break uh something that is just a an endless repetition over and over and over and over again and nothing ever seems to change uh and i think you're sti you're stifled you're bored you're discontent 
And then we get the 37 card, uh, which is all about nature communication. And 37 does break down to a 10. So we're talking about cycles here. There is something cyclical here coming to a close. And um, it's talking about fairy energies, the fae. So you might be very much connected to the fae. But I also feel like underworld, like 2D, like maybe you've sunken down into the into the underworld to receive um, some elemental messages. But it's really time to shine bright. I do feel uh, I'm talking to somebody who's been in the dark night of the soul, the starry night. So maybe uh, you've been digging into here cosmic ancestry, the stars, cos cosmic energy. I just feel things have been blurry, things have been a little unclear, and it's time for you to shine bright. It's time for you to understand that you will make it through this, and maybe as you make it through this, it's time to restructure and become braver and share this fresh perspective, because I think you got all of the tools that you need to create a new reality, but you need to face the conclusion that maybe you're dealing with somebody in this a rep repetitive, endless cycle where... They make promises. They never follow through with these promises. Uh, it's like empty words, empty promises. And it's really prevented you from being able to live in the now moment. And maybe overindulgence has really prevented you from setting a course in a new direction. I think it's time to head in, in a new direction is what it feels like, Capricorn. But let's pull in with some spiritual journey oracle messages and see what else needs to come through. We get the transformation. So death energy. Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio. Scorpio energy comes into our lives. To teach us what we need to change. Right? And that Scorpio sting. Let me tell you. It burns baby. It burns. I've been burned by a lot of Scorpio men in my life. Um, but there is an external relationship here. That's no longer serving your purpose. That's no longer serving your path. That needs to be released. And so how can you honor this? inner empress that's coming through with the nourishment card and and uh and go towards a healthier lifestyle maybe somebody here is struggling with addictions but i feel like it just feels like this eternal endless loop of the same thing over and over and over again so what else does capricorn need to be aware of there is a soul agreement here a soul contract i feel reaching completion and you're needing to to find your truth, to speak your truth. I think you've been misguided by somebody that might have manipulated you uh, down the wrong path. And it's time to forge a new path. Bottom of the deck, there is a rediscovery. I think you're starting to see somebody really clear. I think you're peeling back the layers. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion. And you've got a person here in your life where I think you didn't see them clearly. And now you're seeing something you didn't really see before. You're seeing it. You're seeing it. And there's a breakthrough, right? And so the divine, I feel, has really been working with you to break free from a connection uh, so you can go towards a meaningful long-term partnership with somebody because I feel the divine's been orchestrating all kinds of little mini towers in and around you to bring uh, a revelation forward about a, about a soul contract that I feel has run its course. And I think you, you both agreed to this contract, this life, because there's some karma here that needs to be cleared. And so I feel you're coming into this greater awareness with this rediscovery a hanged man could be dealing with a Pisces. They're showing me the hanged man. Uh, but this is about showing yourself unconditional love. I feel you could be dealing with somebody that criticizes you, that gaslights you, that manip that manipulates you. And this is like a reflection, a mirror reflection of what you need to heal inside of you. So you can call in a healthier relationship cycle. So I think uh, after a breakdown, you're going to find a breakthrough. But I feel uh, you're getting rid of, there's that throat chakra activation. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, baby. And that light above me is just flicking. So whatever you're, you're coming into realizing, it's a truth about you finding your strength, your core strength to, I feel, strip away somebody who's really taken advantage of you. I feel you could be dealing with somebody that has taken advantage of you. And you're coming into this heightened awareness. And I think you're ready for a new life. So it's time to shine a light on something here. Let's jump in with some cards. I am going to use the Archangel Power Tarot deck today. Um, okay. Uh, the Ace of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Gabriel. The Queen of Wands in reversed. 
I think you're dealing with somebody that likes to get you going. They like to trigger jealous uh, feelings within you. So if you're jealous, if you're possessive, I think it's because you're dealing with somebody that withholds love. Uh, this is also like a very karmic feminine energy coming in. There's a loveless situation here where there's been a, a lot of control. There's a lot of dramatic emotional uh, reactions that are coming forward. And I do feel this, this hurts. Maybe you thought this was going to be a deep lasting relationship, but I don't think it is. And I think maybe you're angry. There's some sacred rage here. I think you keep attracting people that use you because you don't know your worth and your value. And, and I feel you're dealing with a very unfulfilling relationship. And I think you might be getting angry. So you might be angrily kicking somebody out of your life. Yeah, somebody that I feel likes to control you. I think somebody that likes to be in control. We've got a king of wands up right now at the bottom of the deck below the ace of cups. And we got the moon. You got somebody with hidden intentions here. You're not on the same page. You're definitely not on the same page at all whatsoever. So you better keep an eye on this person. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. Somebody that appears to be generous. But I feel they're they're dramatic too. And they're only generous to people uh, to put on a facade. There, there's something hidden here. Hidden emotions. And I think there's anger coming to the surface. Big time. So let's do nine cards for you. Capricorn and let's see what's coming through for you for February Sun Moon rising Venus Jupiter and North node these two stayed on the bottom so we get the page of Pentacles in reverse with the seven of Pentacles in reverse so you're stuck you're stagnant you spent a long time on a situation expecting it to grow you're dealing with somebody childish immature somebody that's really not investing and I think you're withdrawing an offer you know it's time to get to work. You know it's time to get moving. And I think you made a poor investment. You've been very patient with somebody, hoping that things would work. But I think it's time to move on to your next endeavor. Yeah. There you are. Queen of Wands in reversed and the moon. I think you've hidden how frustrated you are about a situation. I do feel the release of some sacred rage. There, there's a lot of hidden feelings that need to come to light here. This could go either or. We could have a King of Wands taking action. Because we've got a queen of wands losing her cool and and attracting all kinds of drama. We got a drama queen here. We got a masculine that likes to control people that really doesn't have genuine concern. And we got two people that have been hiding a lot of things from each other is what it feels like here. We get the ace of cups in reversed again, which is a loveless situation. And we got an unexpected tower. There is a breakdown. You aren't going to be able to avoid this. Because there is a lack of victory here. It's like two people that like to fight. Like, do you like do you do you like fighting? Do you want to be right, or do you want do you want to be happy? I I just feel uh, there's a breakdown of something here. Oh my God! There's lies. There's trickery. There's slander. There's stealing. Oh my goodness! The Queen of Coins in reversed, and then we get the Six of Pentacles. While well, something is being rebalanced here for sure. And it's like, it's time to admit that the spark is gone. There is no more working things out here. This is not working out well. Plans are not working. With the Ace of, of Wands reversed, the Three of Pentacles reversed, and the Ten of Swords in reversed. And so the worst is going to happen here. The worst has already happened, and it's kind of time to put the past to bed. I, I feel maybe you were only in this connection, or I feel there's a King of Wands that was only in a connection for his material needs to be met is kind of what I see here. We've got a king of wands that was only in it for the money. So any acts of kindness or generous giving was all an act. It was an act, I feel, uh, because there's a lack of gratefulness here. This is feeling really yucky, to be honest, Capricorn. And so there's a better way. I think somebody here has lied. Somebody here has stolen. And it could be stealing money. So we get two feminine cards in reverse. Very karmic feminine energy coming through. There's a there's a woman here that does not know how to nurture herself. Doesn't love herself. Is angry, jealous, possessive. Because she doesn't know her worth. She doesn't know her value. She's not practical. Likely received poor advice. She just doesn't nurture, nurture things, right? She also could have been with somebody just for the money. I think two people here in a foundation just to get their material needs met. 
And that's kind of devilish, right? So I think there's fears of facing this truth. I think two people have been ignoring their guidance. Two people are hiding how they feel about a situation. And I just think it's a lose-lose situation. It's time to change something here. This is immediate. The tower is immediate. And so we had um, Mars conjunct Pluto earlier this week. We're going to have Venus conjunct Mars probably around the time that this video is going to be coming out. And so this is a breakdown of a false foundation because there's no love here. There's a lack of love. There's a lack of truth. There's a lack of honesty. And the divine is like, it's time to move on from this, right? It's really time to move on. Uh, and maybe somebody is moving on towards a third party. I just feel there was third party here. And there and there's this energy of holding on because of the memories. I think this person has triggered your inner child is what it feels like. So let's clarify this tower. But it's pretty clear to me. Um, the truth is coming out. Maybe about a feminine that's uh, stealing money. We get the eight of Michaels. Oh, the Empress. <laughs> and the king of coins in reverse. What is going on here? Yeah, somebody's been in a situation just for the money. Plans are not working out. Somebody did not invest wisely. And I feel uh, there could be a feminine here that feels trapped in a situation because of the because of the money. I just feel it's been all about the money. And so you can always choose to be free. I feel two people here that are feeling really, really stuck. And I think a feminine is, is going to take action. I think there's a feminine taking action to break free. Just two people, right? Just in it for the financial security. There's materialism here. There's a need to go through a, a judgment. I feel an awakening. My nose is really itchy. And the awakening card, I think, did come out. The transformation. And so there's the start of a new life. But I do feel you've got to forgive somebody here. I think it's time to forge a new path. To go your own way, to find your purpose, and to just admit, like, this really wasn't wish fulfillment. I think there was addictions here. I think there was a lot of gaslighting, a lot of manipulation uh, going on here. And I think there's been uh, so much resistance to seeing things clearly uh, with the sun reversed. And so there's definitely a situation here being released. There's a, there's a negative karmic attachment I think it's like a lose-lose outcome, and so it's time to release a situation, right? Uh, somebody's really ignored the divine guidance. There's a lack of meaning here. I think somebody's really been searching for the whys, the whys, the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, and it's time to try a different approach. I do think it's time to just give it up. I think you've gone head-to-head -head with somebody, maybe for the last couple of years. Is it worth it? There's a lack of unity. There's a lack of celebration. This could be a canceled engagement, a divorce proceeding. But I think you're both better off if you just go your separate ways. Because I feel there's a lack of compromise here. And it's time to reach a level of completion with a lesson. Something's coming full circle. So how can you take this uh, spiritual growth that you've learned from this situation, take this insight, and move quickly out of a situation. This is an unexpected dis departure, a closing of a cycle, uh, choosing logic over emotion, and there's going to be sudden upheaval coming in here. So let's get you a closing message. Hmm. Let's get you a closing message. Uh, oh, geez. The initiation. So this is like a, a rite of passage. It's time to cross the, th the threshold, Capricorn. You're going through a spiritual initiation and you're going to make it through this, okay? It's time for you uh, to become the oracle. The oracle. The oracle of Delphi. Uh, your vibration is rising and so this situation really is no longer serving you. So it's time to uh, understand who or what has been triggering you. I think this connection came in as a mirror, a twin mirror, uh, to reflect back to you what it is that you need to release. And so there's a lot of divine orchestration. There's a lot of helpers in the spiritual realms helping you become this pillar of light. And so how are you being called to step up and lead? Hey, Capricorn, how are you being called to step up and lead? Because you're going through an awakening. You're going through these energetic upgrades. And there's going to be a new way of being. So how can you integrate this tower, the crumbling, everything in and around you is crumbling. So stop overthinking. 
You're already doing it. You're already on the path you're meant to be on. So how can you turn towards facing your true north? I feel a north node activation. And what is it that you've been clinging on to that needs to go? Uh, because it's time to walk through the threshold of this new life. So what's triggering you? That's what I got for you, Capricorn. I really hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, feel free to check out the description box below. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thanks, guys.